Right here, but surely they're going to read this. They've already got two players inside. They've got a player close to rotate. Quentin's in heaven. Yeah, he's not too far away. Well, flash coming in. Two for Olofmeister. The smoke actually to follow it up. There it is, though. Olofmeister's going to clean simple up. Nothing he can really do there. Flaming out just having to brawl his way through all towards the side. And Caesar's going to get cut down. This is a bit of Olofmeister that we'd like to see. He's controlling. He's dominating. And he finishes Navi off on that side easily enough. It's four kills for the man. And the Tech 9 definitely, he does it justice. One round left in the half, and Na'Vi still riding off the back of the loss bonus, but still, it's not pretty. It matters that there's four players here for Winter Fox because everything is covered at the moment. And Stewie will not be able to get the bomb down until they start picking off people. Often uh, gets a kill, but Shroud exchanges it. And now it's a, a three on two. Zussi is very low in HP. The important thing is since they've killed the CT spawn player, now they can get the bomb planted. Or at least the, you know, the risk, the, the calculated risk you have to take to just plant it is, uh, is reduced. Oh, and the timing again for Stewie, that's really unfortunate. They know he's in the sight and he can't hit that shot. Shroud of 20 HP. Will we see it? He gets one headshot, he gets a second one out of the sky, and oh. he gets all three! Shroud is just shutting down the dreams of Winter Fox. That's just, that just hurts. It's almost like... <laughs> you hate to see it. Oh my goodness, it's like, oh, guys, we're gonna win around. Oh, he's T-Ramp, let's just peek him. He's got 20 HP, does he get tagged by a single bullet here? That is so harsh. It's like the timing of the of the peaks from all he's players. He's playing more passively, has stopped the push. 30 seconds left. It's going to be a two-pronged attack onto A with the bulk of the players coming through onto Long Apex so nearly pulls off a miraculous double frag. Well, flashbang, but now it's up to Happy on the side. There's one, Kenny S. Oh my god! The seconds, and he's looking for a third. The flick is on point, and Chris J gets obliterated. Not able to find the shot. Fatas did a heck of a lot on his plate. Hell Racers have had a relatively, relatively clean anti go round. All right, Zero. He falls backwards over the double stack here, and Tarsen finds him with a deagle. Now another one. Okay, then now we're getting somewhere. We're cooking with gas. Tarsen with three kills for the rounds. He's one behind him. It's going to be Angel to fall down. Say it isn't so. Chad, please hold me. It's going to be Tarsen going over towards the A side. Gets himself an M4 after cutting down four of the Hell Racers players. He's going to outplay Dead Fox here. If he just stays quiet for a little bit longer, he'll be able to get into B, and Dead Fox will already be rotating A. Oh, he's oh. hurt him now. He's hurt him now. Tarsen Molotov in hand. Will he use it before the bomb plant? No. Bomb's going to go down, so Dead Fox is going to gain some position towards B main, but this is maybe less than optimal angle to push from. Not Molotov? both are throwing their mollies. Righto. Giving it away. That's the game. Give it away. Wow. Tarsen comes out. He gets himself the ace and a stunning performance from the man. The caller for Pentry knows how to make the plays. And again, it's it's pretty mid-heavy defense. They have got Shroud and CT spawn and Automatic is being uh, very proactive outside of the B-bomb site to put attention towards mid. And they have four people, all five people towards this catwalk area. So Skadoodle is going to have to hit some shots if they want to hold the site because nothing has... He's in the pit right now and Shroud's in CT spawn. So hopefully they don't just run into this. Yeah. This is, uh, all five members are not here for Winterfox. They have nowhere to fall back to. It's Skidoodle. He gets one kill and he gets actually damaged through. So Zuzi's very low. That's a second kill. This is some old school Skidoodle jumping up. More information, a fourth kill. And he can get the ace. Oh, the quick scope wow. on Dexter. That is incredible. Skidoodle just, just like shooting fish in a barrel right there. They literally barely even fired back at him. Nice flashes from his teammates.